Okay, up for sale we have a 2005 Kawasaki ZX6R. So this is actually the 636cc uh, sport bike from Kawasaki. Bike is in good condition, actually ridden by my wife. Um, as you can see, it's lowered. You kind of see the forks coming up through the triple trees. Uh, we still have a lowering strap on the front end, which I'm planning to remove before the sale. But if you like it on there, we can leave it on there. We've also got the Vortex adjustable dog bones or links. Um, so you can see those with three positions. I still have the originals, so don't mind putting those back on there. And then we've also got a Penske shock. This is the 8983, the two-way adjustable shock. Wonderful shock. Uh, Vortex chain and sprocket, so it's the 520 conversion just to uh, reduce some weight. Uh, you'll see stainless steel brake lines all the way around, GMD front forks. Uh, you've also got a GPR steering stabilizer, zero gravity windscreen, muzzy full exhaust system. And I actually put the stock, um, I want to call them foot pegs, but I also put the stock, peg, stock pegs back on the bike. And we've also got the NRC case covers. You can see this bike has gone down before, actually before I bought it. Uh, looks like it did go down, but I've had no issues with the bike whatsoever. And as I said, the bike is lowered, and I am willing to raise the bike back up to stock height if someone needs it there before the sale. So we'll just take a look around, walk around, and then I will actually start the bike up for you. It's a cool day. It's about 53 degrees Fahrenheit now, so the bike has not been started in probably a couple weeks now. So that'll give you an opportunity to see it start from cold, not warmed up or anything. And by the way, this bike has 7,219 miles, I believe, but we'll confirm that. Everything's in working order. You will see that the belly pan is missing. Um, I had the bike moved here by my movers when I moved here, and I have not found the belly pan yet, so I will discount accordingly if I can't track that down. As we said, we've got the Penske shock with the remote reservoir. We've got the Vortex 520 conversion chain sprocket. See 46 tooth on the rear, and I can't recall what we've got on the front. These are actually the stock. Yep, these are actually these are actually the stock. These are actually the stock pegs on the bike. And then we come around and look at the triple tree. You'll see these actually are aftermarket clip-ons. These are not factory clip-ons. Give you just a little bit more aggressive ride. It looks like I left a key on. So hopefully this thing starts. You'll see 7,219 miles on the bike. So let me turn that key off to make sure I got enough juice to start it. You'll see I also brought out a temp probe. A lot of people say, oh, I started the bike up from coal and they have no proof. So you'll see I'll turn this on. It's reading about 54 point, 54 and a half degrees, degrees Fahrenheit today. So what I'll do to show you that it will actually be starting up from cold is I'm gonna take the probe. Give me one second. So as you can see, I actually stuck the probe in the exhaust, and right now we've got a reading of 54 and a half degrees. The bike has not been running. As you can see, the exhaust is totally cold. I'll do the same thing. We'll go up front, and we'll touch the radiator. It's a lot easier here because I can stick the bike on the magnet. And so you'll see I'm going to go to the down near the radiator here. To again show you that the bike has not been running. So as you can see I'm touching the radiator. Hopefully you can see that. And right now I'm getting 55 
55.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll go ahead and start it up for you. I'll remove the temp probe, get it out the way. Go ahead and start it up. So you hear the ECU. Go over here, put it to run, and let's hit the starter. Oh, I've actually got it in gear. So we'll go down and put it in neutral. Yep, we're in neutral now. And now let's give it a start. like it just about warmed up. whatsoever with this bike. I'll have the bike for sale on a couple of Kawasaki forums as well as on eBay. Feel free to email me if you got any questions.